So as you know, I'm I'm very bullish. I'm very positive about the future when it comes to ADA. And I've been very consistent in my thinking for what ADA will do in this market cycle. Wouldn't surprise me if ADA is somewhere between seven to $15 by, by the end of this market cycle. Again, this isn't to guarantee, this isn't financial advice. And the interesting thing is that even some of those even some of those who are haters of ADA are slightly changing their tune now that things are improving in the overall crypto market. I'm Luxide. Welcome to the channel. If you guys are new or haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell again. It's free to do. It'll keep you updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. So I watched this video so you guys don't have to. Again, of course, it's BitBoy. He has been a a big ADA hater for quite some time. In fact, this the thumbnail for this is, uh, as you guys can probably see, ADA gang finished. And this is actually AJ and BitBoy having a discussion about, about ADA and what they think it's going to do in this market cycle. And it was interesting to hear a little bit more clarity surrounding this. It sounds like BitBoy isn't super bearish on ADA, which is which is kind of strange because he's been saying that ADA is dead and it's going away and things like that. But in this video, he actually clarifies that he thinks that ADA may just not be a top 50 performer in this market cycle. It may come in at like 51. And that is a very drastic difference from what he's been telling people for quite some time. In fact, what AJ talks about is ADA being kind of a right down the middle shot in terms of performance. And that actually wouldn't surprise me at all. I've never said that ADA is going to be the best performer in this market cycle, but I do believe it's going to do still exceptionally well. We have to remember that that ADA right now is the 11th largest coin in all of crypto, technically number nine, right? Because I don't count stables, but it's a $12 billion asset. It's not going to move as fast as a $3 billion asset or a $1 billion asset, right? Right now, the top 50 is rounded out by a $1.7 billion asset. Do I think a 1.7, uh, a market cap that's one-tenth of the size of ADA is going to move faster? Yeah, absolutely. That, that would not surprise me at all but in the slightest. We have to remember that ADA's got a, a lot of great things working for it. It's a multi-cycle coin. It's con continued to set higher highs in terms of cycle to cycle. It has over 4 million holders. So it's gained the traction for sustainability. And because of that, because of the large optics that it has, it's going to continue to do well. And that's exactly what they talked about in this video. Now, what I will say is that there are still those out there who are trying to paint this negative picture. I've seen it from some comments. I've seen it from some articles. For example, that said uh, whales or crypto whales have moved from Cardano onto other things. And that's that's not the case at all. All right. Every time I see one of these, I'm going to point out the fact that Ada whales still remaining resilient. In fact, on the 13th, they added 60.23 million Ada to their bags. This is net flows. Yesterday, very modest flow, 227,000. And this is all amidst Ada just going through a little bit of chop, slowly but surely working its way to the upside, trying to set this new trend as we're fighting through our moving averages here. Okay. And I have to say that, uh, again, I can't remember if I talked about this in my video earlier today. Remember, guys, this is the time before outside capital hits. This is pre-all season. This is pre-mass adoption. When times start to get wild and we truly do experience the, uh, what's it called? Wow, I, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> when we do experience the supply shock, because you have to remember that ADA holders are resilient. They don't plan on dumping their bags anytime soon. Most people have a multi-cycle vision when it comes to ADA, much bigger adoption, enterprise, governments, whatever it may be, it's further down the road. And because of that, people are not willing to unload their bags for pennies on the dollar, okay? And that's the reason why, despite some people saying, oh, we're going lower, we're setting, you know, we're gonna keep dropping, things like that, we don't do that. We're working our way to the upside. The dip was August 5th, all right? We were standing in the dip. Most people can't identify it until we get past it, but that was the huge opportunity. That was the shakeout. That was the moment where we really had a chance to drop to some dangerously low levels. But instead now we're seeing resilience. We're seeing excitement. We're seeing some movements in the market we haven't seen since the early part of the bull. And it only gets bigger and better and faster and more explosive from here. So while ADA may not be the best performer in this market cycle, it's likely going to be either a coin that hasn't launched yet or a super low market cap. It's still going to be a good performer. All right. Now, again, this isn't to guarantee this isn't financial advice or anything like that. But we have to be just be patient. We'll get a much better picture of what ADA is going to do in this market cycle as we get into the spring. 
Again, people making judgment calls from, from right now, as we've gone through this seven month period of consolidation, not just in terms of ADA, but in terms of the overall crypto market, it's just lunacy, all right? That's like during the bear market cycle back here saying, oh yeah, you know, ADA's, ADA's just gonna do poorly because look at the charts, look what it's done here. And then we know what happened following there. It went on a rip roaring run when there was excitement, when there was new capital. What do we think is gonna happen here again, all right? There's no guarantees. Not a fortune teller. I haven't been to the future. <laughs> It'd be nice to, because then I can obviously tell you guys what's going to happen. But just know this. Everything when it comes to Cardano and ADA has been set up perfectly for this market cycle. It really has. The tech, the people, the community, the developments, they're all there. It's a question of will price follow. If I'm a betting man, I'm going to say yes. So have a great day. Show your love below. As always, this is not financial advice. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think that these these trends that we're seeing this negative sentiment is about to start shifting and are you going to start seeing a lot more positive sentiment fill in as ada starts performing as one of the better coins again have a great day show your love below catch you guys in the next one take care